What's up guys, Tekshan here back with another video. I have done many budget friendly cool tech episodes, but this time we are going mega. Mega? Yes, this is an episode unlike anything that you have seen. A mega episode with some super big products across various categories that you guys will totally love. Sit back and enjoy and make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to support me because if you guys don't do it, who will? I hope you guys will do it. Alright, first mega product on my list, well, meet the Acer 32 inch 2K computer monitor. Many of you guys DM me after watching my Desk 2 video last week where I was using a 4K 32 inch Acer monitor and asked me, Sean, can you feature something of this size on a budget? Well, this is my pick and it is amazing. Bam, here you go, the Acer EB321HQU. This is a 32 inch WQHD resolution monitor, meaning 2K. It has excellent build with amazing picture quality. I like the stand and hey guess what you can also use it as a TV yep that's right a TV it has one aux port for speaker one display port one HDMI port and a DVI port so for TV you can use either a setup box or an Amazon Fire Stick whatever switching between ports is easy also supports wall mount okay why do you need a large screen monitor well, a large screen monitor always reduces strain on the eyes when you're working for long hours and it also gives you a large real estate to work with. The panel is anti-glare LCD with 60Hz 300 nits brightness with LED backlight and has blue light filter, it's flickerless, supports 10-bit color depth, 4 milliseconds response time, has a 178 degree viewing angle and a few other features which makes it an amazing 2-in-1 monitor, be it for multimedia consumption, designing, typing, editing or as a TV. You're gonna just love every bit of this monitor and I mean it, especially if you switch from a small monitor. Many might ask, why not use a TV as a monitor? Well, a TV is not designed to be a monitor and mostly it'll be just Full HD that you get in this budget and when you work for long hours, it will strain your eyes. Using a TV as a monitor for temporary use is okay, but not for prolonged period. Here, this 2-in-1 monitor is the perfect fit for those who want to switch between TV and for those who want to work for long hours. Here are the contents of the box for your reference. So there it is guys, the Acer EB321HQU 32 inch WQHD budget monitor from Acer. This costs around Rs 19,999. In this price range, you cannot find a 2K monitor in this size with such good picture quality. At least at the moment. I am happy with my purchase and you can consider it as well. Wanna grab one? We'll leave the best bell link in the description, check it out. Alright, next mega product from my list is for enhancing your TV experience. Boomba, meet the Zebronix 3850 Pro Dolby Atmos soundbar. Yep, Dolby Atmos. This is a 170W soundbar with amazing sound quality. Has Bluetooth 5 support for wireless connectivity, can take in a USB pen drive and play songs directly from it. Aux for wired connection and hey, you can also wall mount it and supports HDMI ARC and also digital optic. And bam, here it is. Like any usual soundbar, the form factor is same. Still, the design and build is solid with metal and plastic construction. Front, you have the four powerful drivers and to the top, two drivers, all hidden in this metal grille. In the middle, you have an LED display. Top also has controls, power, volume up and down and source selection buttons. To the back, power port, USB port for pen drives, optical port, an aux port, two HDMI input ports and one HDMI ARC port. The use of these HDMI ports is that you can connect your TV setup box or say a fire stick directly to the sound bar and in turn connect a HDMI cable in the HDMI ARC port and that cable to your TV. So that way since the sound bar can output 4K HDR, you can enjoy full immersive audio with your stick or your setup box without connecting to them individually. Switching between them is easy. Having support for 4K HDR is a huge plus. Still, if you want you can connect the bar to any device directly with the HDMI ARC port. For your reference, in the box this is all what you get. Now coming to the audio, Dolby Atmos, 6 powerful drivers, 170 watt output, well, it does pack a punch. Get ready for some amazing audio experience. Using the remote, you can control many aspects of the soundbar. Sadly, I can't get you to feel the exact sound quality because the audio that you hear is of the speaker that you're watching this video. Still, here is a sample. Oh no! Yeah, I'm 
Ted. In a word, for Rs 10,999, this is a cool soundbar to consider if you're in the market for a space-saving solution, yet want a soundbar that packs a punch and gives you that bam-boom experience. The main highlight of this is Dolby Atmos, 170W output, 4K HDR support, and a few other things. So if you're a Netflix and other streaming service consumer, then this will be a worthy investment to make. Want to grab one? We'll leave the best link in the description, check it out. Alright, third mega product from my list is for those looking for a made in India budget smartphone. Here is the In2B from Micromax. This is a super budget phone launched at 7999 recently and yes, it is a made in India phone. For your reference, here is what all you get in the box. Okay, here is a closer look at the In2B. For the price, surprisingly has a very good built-in design. Has a plastic back panel with this radiant style design. Nice! Comes in three different colors, black, blue and green. And in two variants, 4GB and 6GB RAM models with 64GB storage. What you're seeing here is the green color 4GB RAM model. Now coming to the display, it's a 6.52 inch HD plus display. Color reproduction, brightness, all is good. Viewing angles are okay. For the glass, Micromax uses what it calls rainbow glass. Touch responsiveness is good. Overall, good display. On the performance, the 2B has an Octa-Co Unisoc T610 processor and ARM Mali G52 2C GPU. Well, I know the chip name might seem new to many. Frankly, it is new to me as well. However, from a practical standpoint, for everyday tasks, I had no issues. Common tasks like browsing, shopping, WhatsApp, social media was smooth. The best part is it comes with stock Android 11. Provides a clutter-free experience, no bloatware. As said, day-to-day -day tasks, you will have no problems. However, on the gaming. Don't think you can do smooth high-end gaming on this. The chip is not that powerful to handle high-end titles smoothly. It is playable, but you do have stutters in between. And also, when you push it hard, the phone does get a bit warm. However, casual gaming is fine, and even low-end titles, you should be able to play with no problems. So keep this in mind, don't get this phone if your sole need is gaming. This is not for that. On the battery, with its 5000 mAh battery, you get about 1.5 to 2 days with good use. Type-C charging is kinda slow with its 10W charger. On the camera, you get a primary 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel depth sensor with LED flash and a 5 megapixel front camera in this drop notch. Photos are decent for this price range. Supports full HD video recording as well. Here are some samples. Let me know what you guys think of them. On the connectivity front, it supports dual SIM with dual VoLTE. Call quality is good. You can even expand storage with a microSD card, Bluetooth 5, o Wi Fi, and USB OTG. Yes, it has it all. On the rear speaker, it is loud enough. You also have the 3.5mm audio slot. On the sensors, it has accelerometer, proximity, and light sensor. No gyro though. And the fingerprint sensor, it's good. Not the fastest, but gets the job done. On the whole, if you want an Indian made smartphone, without too much bells and whistles, meaning something for everyday use and stuff, mainly without biting your pocket, then for Rs 7999, this is an option to be on your to consider list. Want to grab one? We'll leave the best link in the description, check it out. Alright, next mega product on my list is for those looking for a cool smartwatch. Check out the Boat X10. This is a super cool smartwatch loaded with features that you might want to add to your smartwatch to consider list. And here it is. First look, built-in design is top-notch, looks and feels premium, especially this blue and red color model. You will say the same if you get this. The strap is silicon. The display, watch face is 1.6 inches LCD touch color display. Side, you have the digital crown which is just a button, kinda like the home button. Back, you have the heart rate sensor and charging point. Be it medium to large hands, this compact dial should be good enough. Wow. That was an unexpected spot for you to say compact. Anyways, exclusive Texan comparison time. Well, if I have to say, the size of the watch dial is approximately in the size of a 1 rupee ITC AIM wax matchstick box. Yep, crazy but true. Another exclusive Texan comparison. 
Coming to the features, like any smartwatch, yes, 100 plus watch faces which you can change from the Boat Wave app. The watch faces are amazing. Make sure to download and pair the watch to this app. Then you have steps, calories tracking, various sports modes, Amazon Alexa. Well, this is the only con on this watch. Though it supports Alexa inbuilt, it is not that accurate. So I won't give it a positive mark unless they fix it. Oh no! Then heart rate monitoring, blood oxygen monitor, then something called stress monitoring. Monitors your stress levels. Then breath training, sleep monitoring, weather, music control, stopwatch, alarm, timer, find my phone and settings which has raise to wake, do not disturb, watch faces and brightness control. Overall, it's a good looking feature packed watch minus the Alexa feature which is not perfect yet. On the app, it's good with features that you would expect. On the battery, you get about 3 days on a single charge. If you're looking for a stylish smartwatch with all the fitness features, then for around Rs 2999 sale price, you can definitely consider this. Can be a good gift as well. Want to grab one? We'll leave the best link in the description. Check it out. Alright, time for the special mega product of this video. And this time, something kick ass. Check this out, the all new Apple iPad Air 4th generation model. If you're on the market to buy a good tablet for your work, education or whatever reason and have the budget, then iPad Air is something that you must check out. In fact, iPads rule the premium tablet market compared to the expensive Android tablets because of its app ecosystem. Some high-end Android tablets, though great in terms of specs and build, do not offer a great app experience which is the most important for a large screen usage. Apple's app ecosystem stability is frankly years ahead. When it comes to premium tablets, it's better to put your money on an iPad than on an Android tablet, at least at the moment, in my opinion. And here it is, the all new Apple iPad Air 4th Gen Wi-Fi model. It is a beautiful tablet, so thin and light in weight. What I have is the blue color, also comes in a few other colors. I chose this model over the less expensive normal iPad 8th generation because of its slim design and large 10.9 inch retina display. Has a fingerprint sensor, stereo speakers, dual mics, type-c connector, 12 and a 7 megapixel ultra wide camera, support for Wi-Fi 6, the A14 bionic chip with the new iPad OS 14 and hey yes it also supports Apple's second generation pencil. It has so much packed inside for an amazing fluid experience on a tablet, be it pro apps, education, content creation or mainly gaming, it is an immersive experience. Guess what, it is powerful enough to replace your laptop in some ways. The only drawback is still Apple sticks to the base storage of 64GB, which is a bummer. If you can shell out a little extra, go with the high storage model. I grabbed this iPad Air 4th generation 64GB Wi-Fi model for Rs 48,000 after discounts. Well, if you're someone who thinks you can put a tablet to good use, then investing on an iPad is well worth it. Given the minimum 5 years of software updates Apple guarantees, that's a huge advantage. For me personally, I am super happy with this tablet. Want to grab one? We'll leave the best link in the description. Check it out. So, that's it for this mega episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in another exciting video. Until then.